So I will start now. Yes, please. Good afternoon, respected chairmen, professors, and welcome all the audience today. My name is Menyapha Kautarendat. I am here to present about our research entitled The Efficiencies of Computer Aided Diagnosis of Non Carrier Tooth in the Digital Bite Wing and Panoramic Radar Graph. According to WHO, dental carry is the most common chronic disease which affects people throughout their lifetime in various aspects. Early detection can be provided by means of diagnosis modalities that can be divided into two main methods, clinical and radiographic examination. Other alternative methods have also been introduced to aid the clinical examination, for example, fluorescence or transillumination. Now, the new technologies, artificial intelligence or AI, which is software edit technology, has been brought into many medical fields, including carry diagnosis. Currently, there are three well-known systems of the computer edit carry detection software, including Dentistry AI, Denti AI, and Logicon. In our research, we have chosen the Denti AI software. As the manufacturers has claimed for its advantages, in terms of greater speed, more profits, and higher qualities. Then TAI generates diagnosis finding, including crowns, implants, endodontic treatment, filling, epicolation, and dental carry. The result was shown as CAD threshold of having the finding based on the grayscale shown in the radiograph. Let's take a look at the objective of our research. The first objective is to identify the threshold of the computer edit software for diagnosing proximal surface of posterior teeth in digital bite wing and panoramic radiograph. Second is to determine the accuracy of the computer edit carry detection software for evaluations of proximal surface in non-carrier posterior teeth in digital bite wing and panoramic radiograph. The last objective is to compare the diagnosis reliability of the computer edit carry detection software between the digital and panoramic radiograph. Therefore, our independent variable are radiograph, including panoramic and bite wing. Dependent variable are proximal carries threshold analyzed by the software. Control variable are two surfaces good quality image, observers, and then TAI software. The next part is the research methodologies. The sample were calculated by using Taro Yamane formula with a 95% confidence level. The co-decision of the two observer with the 25 year experience of the oral diagnosis and radiologies, which randomly choose 400 non-carrier surfaces from 1979 surfaces of digital bite wing radiograph from oral radiology departments at College of Dental Medicine, Rangsit University. All the included image had acceptable image qualities with visible contact or acceptable overlapping contact area, which is less than half of minimal. Here are the example of the included two surfaces with absence of carry in bi-wing and panoramic radiograph. The tools of measurement is the NTI software as we have introduced in the beginning. Here's the interface of the program, which presents the diagnosis of the proximal carrier station in terms of CAD threshold. Here's the flowcharts of the data collection for our research. After randomly choosing the panoramic and bi-wing radiograph, with the two surfaces of absence of carry from Ghost and that. The same radiograph was interpreted by the software. The results of the carrier's detection by the software and Ghost and that would then compare to perform the statistical analysis. The descriptive analysis of the threshold values from the CAD were recorded after uploading the chosen radiograph to the software in both digital bite wing and available panoramic radiograph of the same two surfaces. 
the reliability of the carrier diagnosis performance from both radiographic image was calculated by using Cohen Kappa coefficients. Due to the non normalities of the CAD threshold values, the Wilcoxon signed rank tests were conducted to perform the statistical significant difference between the bi wing and the panoramic radiograph. The p value was determined at 0 0.05. The next part is the result and discussion. The first table is the comparisons of the carrier diagnosis from gold standard and CAD threshold response. From the gold standard, the diagnosis of no caries can be interpreted by the software as absence and presence of carry. From 400 non carriers to surface and bi wing radiograph, 287 to surface were absence of proximal carrier station, which coincide with the result interpreted by gold standard. This showed that the abilities of the CAD to analyze a non carrier station from vibing radiograph was under-evaluated. There was only 71.8% of non-carrier surfaces correctly diagnosed when compared to the gold standard. On the other hand, 132 surfaces or 28.2% were shown as present with proximal carrier station. This was considered as false positive data from interpretation by the software. The CAD presence in non-carrier two surface was determined as false positive data. The false positive data produced in bi-wing radiograph were still observed in terms of CAD threshold with the mean values of 15.3 and SD of 12.2. This indicates that the CAD threshold of the false positive value presented in bi-wing radiograph was considerably low. On the other hand, the panoramic threshold range was higher and wider than vibing radiograph with the mean values of 34.9 and SD of 28. This can be inferred that if the program shows the percentage within the range, the result is most likely to be the faulty diagnosis. The interclass reliability between the CAD threshold of the two types of radiograph Vibing and panoramic was calculated using Cohen Kappa coefficients. The result was minus 0 0.055 with the p values of less than 0 0.01. This indicates that there was no agreement in negative result detections in panoramic radiograph and vibing radiograph through the computer edit carry detection software. In terms of vibing radiograph, after analyzing the result, from the program comparing to the gold standard. The negative results of the gold standard show the contrastive results presented by Dente AI software as true negative and false positive, in which a true negative value was higher. This implied that the carrier detections of the program was in a way of an accurately correct diagnosis rather than being misdiagnosis. In terms of panoramic, it is considered as an unreliable tool for proximal carrier detection. This is in agreement with the previous study, which stated that the panoramic radiograph was marked as an overlapping tooth crown, causing difficulties in assessment of the proximal carrier station. Anyhow, all the positive values was counted as sensitivity. The higher sensitivity benefits in aspects of the minimal intervention industry. A net false negative may have a significant higher repercussions than the false positive values. Undiagnosed and untreated decays could grow and lead to the loss of healthy tooth structures, possibly need for endodontic therapy or extraction. While a false positive will lead to a more conservative minimal interventions, including topical for our applications and close monitoring of the lesion. The early detections of dental carry diagnosis was important to provide an appropriate management, including prevention to patients. Therefore, artificial intelligence was introduced to assist the detection of proximal carrier station in hopes to simplify and shorten terms of diagnosis. Lots of information can be gathered and compute to create a quick computer edit diagnosis and treatment planning. 
the software does have superiority over humans in terms of numbers of working hours that they can put in without fatigue. Whereas as the human intellect and mind needs break before they perform the competitive task. As a conclusion, the present study show that the computer edit carry detection software presents a reliable result in ruling out of the proximal parasition through bite wing radiograph. Moreover, the program show a highly sensitive result in detecting of the carrier This allows the user to effectively use the software as a screening measure for proximal carrier detection. On the contrary, the panoramic radiograph showed the poor results in rolling out the proximal carrier station. However, the further study should be conducted to determine the comprehension of the diagnosis accuracy interpret by the software in both carriers and non-carrier station. These are the reference. Thank you for your all's kind of attention and we are welcome for all the questions. Thank you so much, Ms. Benjabhan. Is there any question from the floor or any uh, comment? Um, I would like to ask a question. Please. Would you Can recommend you using this program in clinical situation? Yeah. The question is, uh, would you recommend to use the program in clinical situation? So in this aspect, I would recommend this software in case uh, of the screening app to be used as a screening measure because in here, it is it's demonstration of the graphic can allow the visualization which allow more patient acceptance and can be used for education purpose. And for aspect of the treatment planning for each carrier region, I believe that it is useful to be used as a screening measures and to provide a definitive treatment for patients. It will be combined with the treat, uh, judgment of the dental professional. So with this, I would like to say that this software is a appropriate to be used as screening measure for proximal care station. Okay, uh, is there any question? Well, uh, I have, uh, could you please uh, summarize the indication and contraindication to use this software? as far as you uh, know? Um, for the indications uh, for this software, I, I believe that this software can be used in generally for screening examination because it allows the shorter term of treatment uh, diagnosis and, and that can be helps that can be a help to the dental professionals in screening examinations. However, this this software cannot be used to provide a definitive treatment planning for each patient because it should be combined with the judgment of the dental professionals in when when use it because this will allow um reduce the over treatments in case that if the there there is some if in case that there is any faulty diagnosis the dental judgment can comes in hand to help in here Okay, thank you so much. So if there are no other questions, thank you so much, Ms. Menyapa. Okay.